all right what's going on everybody so today i'm making a video on this window tint sprayer the big the big keg ones that you could buy the high pressurized one so i've been i've been looking online and, and thinking of buying one and they're upwards in the 300 hundred dollar range so it got me searching got me searching on ebay trying to find some some high pressurized tanks and I ran into something that caught my attention that pretty much looked just like the little tank and I got it here in my, in my box so so I'm, I'm pretty much making this video because if I get this going it could save a lot of people a lot of money so it turns out that you could pretty much use a keg that's pretty much all it is and all you have to do is pretty much add a valve stem to it so I'm gonna attempt to do it I got me all the the stuff I need I got some holes I got me one of these little handguns this is what I'll be using for my sprayer I didn't like the other ones a little brass tip adjustable for my sprayer what else did I order And like I said, it's a keg, so I got me one of these kegs, keg, ball, I forget what they're called, but I'll put it in the description, and I'll, I'll probably find the, the right term for this thing pretty soon, and I'll let you guys know. And then I got me some air valves from like a little tractor. You could buy, you could probably buy some cheaper ones, but I got, I got these, they were like two for seven dollars. I wanted some nice ones. So let me unbox this and see see if I could get this figure out maybe if this works because those things were going for three hundred dollars if I can make this work you're looking about a hundred dollars due to the fact that I bought a recite a refurbished tank so I only paid like fifty dollars for that tank so like I said you're looking about a hundred dollars and if I can make this happen I'm pretty sure anybody out there can too you know it's just drilling a hole pretty much so let me let me get this going let me unbox this so there is options online to buy a three gallon one or a five gallon and I went with the five gallon option and here it is <coughs> refurbished five gallon little keg has a little valve same seal just like the little tank they use for the tent there's some pressure in there that's what I'm sure they, they tested before yeah so all I pretty much have to do is drill the hole you see this thing holds a maximum of 130 psi I don't know if you guys could see that if you guys can see that 130 psi well I hope you guys can see it but yeah that's what it says that this little keg can hold you know this one's all beat up I will give it a polish that way it looks nice yeah. just like the sprayer in there it has the little it has the outlet and the inlet so this one has the whole little line that runs all the way down. So when you pressurize it, it releases. So I'm gonna drill the hole and put the little valve on this. And let's see if we can make it work. Yeah, so I got me this, this Flexilla van brand. It's got nice little coils. I actually ordered the ball joint one. So I spent a little bit more just because I wanted to have a little ball joints a, lo a low ball swivel that way this could have rotation it's not just solid because like this it's just gonna intertwine get into knots I don't like that so I did get that little swivel I think I paid another ten dollars for that on eBay but yeah this is the gun I'm using you know I think you could probably find a cheaper option or maybe more expensive I'm not hundred percent sure but I went with just this gun I think it will work just great 
I think I paid like $11 for this and then like another $11 for the brass tip. So about $22. And then the hose was like another $24. These little things, I think I paid like eight bucks for two of these. And then the two valve stems. So all it is is basically is the valve you use to air up a tire. It comes with a rubber seal and a nut so you could drill the hole, pop it in, and tighten it down so it seals it. And then all you have, and then you could just use the regular, you could use the regular wheel pump, put some pressure in there. I was thinking maybe down the road, get, get a little PSI tester, but I'm pretty sure these things are designed to not let in so much PSI. Like after 130, I think it has that little valve that'll let it release the excess pressure so it won't blow up. It's a keg, so you know. They're, I'm sure they're built with good quality material so it won't blow up on people's face. So yeah, so all I have to do is drill the hole. You know, the only thing is I might lose these letters, but it's all right. I'm thinking of setting it right there. You see, this is the little valve it releases the pressure with. Let me get this drilled out. So there's my first hole. I actually started with a, I probably should have started smaller, but Got the, got the job done. So now I'm moving up to a, what is this, a 3 8 I'm hoping this is the size. Because if not, my next drill bit is a 1 half and I'm thinking that might be a little too big. No, oh, I think, I think that would be the size. I think I need to go up to the one, the half, the half an inch. So this is a half inch. And there it is, perfect hole. Half inch it was. Let me give this a little clean. Make sure there's no, no metal. Cool, so I'm sure you could replace these gaskets so I'm sure over time they go bad probably so you could replace it that way you get that perfect seal I mean if I can make this work for a hundred dollars I'll be one happy camper and then hopefully this video helps out a lot of people that way you guys don't have to go out and spend three hundred dollars on a on something that you could get for half the price just Pretty much drill a hole, get some connectors, some holes, and plug it in and make it work. It seems real simple to me. So hopefully I can make this work. So you see all, all it is is a nut on top that threads down on the on the stem. So you got this top washer that will clamp down on it when you tighten it down. And then this seal, this rubber seal squeezes on. So basically creates a, a seal in there. And I, I'm not sure if I should drill it to the size of the seal, but I'm gonna try it just like this, see if it works. I'm sure it will since it's just rubber. So you see, there's the rubber against that. So I'm gonna tighten this nut and see if it seals it. Oh yes, yeah, so if you can see it squeezing down on it. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure no air is escaping that. So there it is, nice and tight. Got the valve stem on here. So I got a 25 foot hose, like I said, so I could do multiple ones. And I cut it in half, so you're looking about 12 feet hose. That way I could probably just leave the tank in one side of the car, or in the back of the car, and I could move the hose around from side to side. So I don't know if you guys could read that. It's like Cornel Cornelius Corny Keg Ball Locks. That's what these things are, that's what these things are called. So all it is, is they got those little, it's kind of like on a pressure washer. You pull back and you lock it in place and it seals it and you can build the pressure in there. So all I, what I paid for these was $9.50. At the end of the video, I'll, I'll have a list of how much I spend if this works out. So like I said, these are quick connects. So, so it's looking like I have the wrong one on the keg because it should have a little, a little slot where the little balls the little balls in there catch so look it's looking like I'm probably gonna have to order some new some new of these kind of sucks because it's another few days of waiting because I probably won't be able to find these on anywhere nearby let me throw some water in here that way that way it could have something to spray out So I put about about a gallon in here. Put about a gallon of water in there. Got the cap. It's a little tricky to get it in there, but it works. It's in. So I guess lock it in place. Open the valve stem. I hear no leaks. It's holding air. I'm gonna spray a little bit of soapy water. No signs of air leak. So I think it's a good, it's a good indication it's gonna work. So I found the ones I should have that should have came with the keg. They have like a little ridge, like I mentioned before, just like the pressure washer, where the little balls just latch on, and then you could have your seal. But this one didn't come with these, so I need to see if maybe it's a cheaper route to order these, a new set of these, or the new corny, the little quick connects. So I need to do a little bit of research. It's a little bit more money wasted because I didn't do a little bit more in research. But it's for a good cause. It's helping you guys out. Let me see what I find. Okay, so after a little bit of research, I found out their pin lock keg. So basically, instead of having a ball the bar quick connect like I have so instead of having that, that the little ridge for the balls to latch on this thing has those three little pins I don't know if you can see them if you can see the picture it has the two sides have one and that so those, these are the ones I should have ordered I found these on Walmart I think they're too pricey it sucks because I was excited that I was gonna be able to use this thing today 
and it turned out I should have done a little more research, which is all right. I'm teaching you guys something so you guys can save some money. I mean, either either way, I'm still saving a ton of money, so I'm not worried about it. Even if I pay overnight shipping, I'll still get this for less than half the price what a retailer sells it. But like I said, if you get a used refurbished tank, it's only like $40, $50, something. You probably could get a smaller one. I got the five gallon, like I said, but I'm sure you could probably go with this three, three gallon and it'll be cheaper. And I'm sure you can find cheaper valve stems, probably cheaper nozzle than what I'm using. You know, it's all about doing a little bit of research, trying to find the cheapest of the cheapest. I mean, this is all they're doing. If anything, I should start selling them. <laughs> start making some money off these things. It's outrageous how much they're taxing. Because I think you can find brand new ones of these for like $80. I think it's a three gallon, but it's still $80 for a brand new one. Drill you the little valve. And you're good to go. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. I mean, it, if you're seeing this video, you know, it's gonna work. I mean, what are the odds? This is pretty much all they're doing. Getting a keg, once you put pressure in it, it's gonna push, it's gonna push it right out. Once that connection is done right. I was so excited because I had been waiting, like, took them like two weeks to send this one out. But it's here now. Now I gotta wait on that part, on those parts. I'm sure, I'm sure I could get those pretty quick. I'll try to find them on fast shipping or pay overnight shipping. Like I said, might as well. That way I could finish off the video and see if it's gonna work and get my my new sprayer working. Get some good tent jobs done. All right, guys. So it's another day, and I got an order in. I got the little swivel part I was talking about. Three fourths swivel ball. I actually got this on a good deal. The guy had it for like ten bucks. I mean, it's only like fourteen bucks or something like that. But I got this one so it can have that swivel, like I mentioned before, so it won't tangle the hose. I'm still waiting on the other piece to hook it up to the keg. So let me let me show you guys how this works. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, let me remove this gun. So basically, this thing is designed to be removed. So you pull back on this on this piece. It's a little tricky sometimes. It could be a little hard, so what I do is use a screwdriver, just kind of pry on that edge and help it pop out of place. If I could get it to work, probably a screwdriver is no good. Having trouble popping this out of place. I've done it before and all I did was pry on the edge. With a screwdriver Ugh, bitch so yeah there it is after hurting myself I got it out so now all it is is two hoses there's two nuts that kind of squeeze into the onto the hose to create a connection if you can see on the instructions all you do is get two two channel locks or whatever measurement it is and then you stick one fitting in and then you put the other one on the edge of the hose then you clamp them together and it should it should create a seal That's pretty much all it takes This part's always tough after it's been installed because it squeezes shut so it's on there real tight. So what I'll do, I'll slice it downwards and cut it off. Huh. 
helps you break it out. So you see this is what goes into the holes and then it squeezes it on there and it creates that, that tight seal which doesn't let it leak. So what I'll do, I'll cut this, cut this old piece out. That, be, that way it'll be a nice piece of hose. So it seals right. So you see this is the part that I like, the swivel. It's got a ball swivel. So when I have the gun on there, it'll all turn around and it won't tangle the hose up. You could just use it in every direction. Pretty nice. There it is. Now we won't kink. And I got the full size, full size swivel. Nice little ball joint there. Feels nice. I'll probably run a little bit of thread lock. Find it down. And there it is, nice and swivel, could go all around. So yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting on that other piece. Like, like I said, it, I ordered the wrong one. It says that it's been shipped, so I don't know if it'll be here anytime soon. It said maybe by Wednesday, so hopefully it gets here Wednesday. And we could try, try this setup out. I'm actually excited. All right, so what's going on everybody? So it's a different day already. It's been pretty much a week since I said that I was gonna order that new piece. Well, I did order that piece and I've been waiting on it and pretty much full seven days later, here it is, the new connection. So it turns out in the description of the keg, it actually said that it, so I guess you got a different one. So you got a, the ball. The ball lock, the one I actually ordered, or you got the, the pin one. So if you, like I said, you know, you got three pins on each side. So that's what this is. Let me, let me open it up. So you see it has three pins. It has a pin here, pin here, and a pin here. So when it gets on there, it, it slides in. Let me get it focus. So when you put it on there, it slides in and you twist it and it locks in place. And then you got that little pin inside of it, which opens the little valve on the connector. So let's, let me check and make sure it fits because <laughs> what if this one's even, what if this one's the wrong one too? A little overexposed. Boom, and it works. So now let me transfer this hose to this connecting connection, which should work. Should be the same size, and it is. Let me get some pliers to tighten this up. Put some air on it. 
Moment of truth. Oh yes. Like if it was meant to be. Nice, what do you guys think? Perfect miss. I probably need to add a little bit more pressure in there. But overall, I'm liking this. I do got a little leak off the gun because this fitting wasn't exactly for it. But I'll just put a little bit of glue or silicone in there and it should be fine because I like this feature of being a gun other than the regular sprayer you know I could probably just hang this in my pocket go around I'm excited now can't wait to use this so I got almost about a gallon in here of water if not less and as you're filling up with air you could actually hear it kind of filling up the pressure in there so it starts getting quieter and quieter you start hearing less air flow, you know, so the pressure is real good. I'm loving this. And I don't have to sit there and pump up spray bottle or squirt the spray bottle. This is nice. A lot of mist. Oh, yeah. This thing's a water gun. Look at this. Best. Best hundred and thirty, twenty dollars, whatever it is that I spent. This is awesome. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up the video here. I hope I help somebody out there, you know, trying to invest into a good sprayer.